For that, tonight at 11, the Dollar General store where three people were gunned down in Jacksonville is getting ready to reopen within the next 10 hours. Tonight, we are hearing from the attorney representing two of the victims who were killed in that mass shooting. But first, our Taylor Levesque is getting new reaction from community members in that area and also leaders who say this store should be torn down. Dollar General says there are many improvements on the inside of the store here on Kings Road. There aren't many visible improvements to the outside storefront other than this plaque right here by the sliding front doors that says hashtag Jacksonville strong. The shelves are stocked and the doors to the Dollar General on Kings Road in Jacksonville will be open to customers for the first time Friday. About five months since three people were shot and killed in a racially motivated shooting in August. The news comes as a shock for some living in the Newtown area. I don't think they really need to open. They should have towed this store down to the ground and made up a Moria Paul. But is a sign of relief for others. It should open because we don't have anything in the neighborhood. Burger King is closed, Subway is closed. We have to go a block or two blocks in order to get anything, you know, from a dollar store. Dollar General says the store was remodeled. Customers can shop from the store's new produce section, expanded dollar deals aisle and health and beauty section. The store also has wider aisles, new lighting and flooring. Randall Wiggins says despite these improvements, he won't be going shopping at Dollar General. I won't buy food up out of here. State Representative Angie Nixon and resident Gary Nichols support the services the store will offer. That area is in a food insecure area. It's a food desert. They don't have too many healthy food options. You know, life goes on, so we can't be afraid of what's going to happen. The store will reopen Friday at 9 a.m. The normal business hours are from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. In Jacksonville, Taylor Levesque, First Coast.